Good morning, guys. It's the Intuitive Investor from StockTwits. So today is April 27th. I actually really tried to um, give you guys a day three coverage update, um, but time ran out. So I wanted to just talk about briefly what happened on the 27th. Um, for those of you guys that were following this, um, again, this is about the next five days. I want to see at least four out of five days in the green. And we saw two green days in a row from Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. We closed down 0.008 cents, which equated to about percent and a half. So we're two for three. I think if you look at the chart on Friday, it bumped up to from 66 cents, from 67 cents up to 71 or 72 cents. And then about literally about almost about an hour and a half into it, it, it broke down and it still made it back and forth like literally traded within the 65 to 66 range I was able to add in the morning and decided to see if I could add um, some more shares in the last 30 minutes of trading at 65 cents didn't get it closed at 66 cents um, so we're two for three all we know is that since many took over there's been a substantial amount of changes to Namaste fundamentally um, with them adding on the Pineapple Express, um, them seeking contracts with the government for subsidized payments, everything from looking into the edibles, the chocolate that they acquired at 49%. Um, edibles are coming, and that's the last thing for Canada to finally legalize um, later this summer. So things are looking really well for Namaste. We removed um, some people from Namaste. And that's exactly what not, uh, many came in to do. It's been ugly. There's no way around it. But the good news is that some fundamental changes are taking place within Namaste. And we just haven't really received the final thing that we're looking for. And that's the non-redacted financial audit that's supposed to come May 31st. That will clearly show the blueprints It'll show the meat and potatoes. It'll literally show everything and everything about Namaste in terms of where they're at financially, where they were at financially, that is, and where they're going also as well. Um, again, I want to be able to document Monday's and Tuesday's results as well. Um, I still want to see at least four out of five days of green in order to um, transition from a neutral to a bullish stance. I'd been bearish for quite some time now. Um, and there's just no way around it. If you're watching this and you're invested in this, chances are you're holding on the bags. The great news is that with this recent run at 68%, maybe we've transitioned, at least I have, um, have transitioned from a bag to a baggie now, which I'm perfectly fine carrying a baggie. Uh, always try to reduce your cost basis by adding um, in the low and this brings down your average so averaging down is definitely a strategy that's been professed amongst um, new investors and and veteran investors so I really don't have anything else to say um, do want to credit some of the uh, Yahoo Finance family that has been um, you know, providing feedback, been able to provide some of the stats that I've mentioned here today and in previous comments. Um, so let's see what happens on Monday. Um, hopefully my expectation is if this was a sell-off, um, obviously there was a, a strong tug of war between sellers and buyers as stocks were being sold, stocks were being bought, me included. And, um, and I think that that's the reason why it's just kind of was a, a stalemate, if you will. Um, if that's the case, then I think we're going to see a continued run-up on Monday. If not, then there might be some more sideways trading. But the update's supposed to come every two weeks. They did release this information um, one week early, so that might suffice for the April 30th news update that I thought we were going to receive. And finally, we might see one May 15th or the week before that, before we see we receive the final, um, fully complete, non-redacted uh, financial audit by the end of May 30th. Um, I think is the projected date. It could be May 31st, I believe. Um, 
But who knows? Maybe the surprise is and they actually release it sooner than later. That would be fantastic. Anyway, anyway um, if you aren't already subscribing, please do so. Um, I welcome all comments, suggestions, new perspectives, things for me to consider that I hadn't yet considered. Um, what else? I guess that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you're on stock twits, come and give me a shout out. I'm a big Shopify supporter. Um, talk about Shopify. Look at that run up. If you guys don't believe me, I mean, I've been on this since IPO. Check it out. It's up almost, I think, some crazy 80 or 90 percent on the year. Um, I'm probably exaggerating, but it's it's up there. Look at that train. So take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.